Hey guys, we're here at Moffat Beach and we're off to chase longtail tuna. And this time it's Alexander's time to join me. He's nine and his brother, who's 12, was out with me a couple of weeks ago on the double. We went out and caught spotty mackerel. You. Well, right now there's some long tails around. This is Alexander's first offshore mission. And today we're going in the big double, with the Viking Tempo 2, with a secret weapon on the back that his brother didn't have with him, which is the Bixby motor. So what our plan is to troll lures on our way out to Braze and then once we get out there we're going to put on some white plastics because that's what they're catching the fish on some white paddle tails some z-man is what i've got there some z-man three inch and four inch paddle tails plus my uh usual lucky stri uh, z-man streaks right let's get this kayak ready Here's our little secret weapon. We've got the big speed jet. This is the jet motor. And the reason I'm putting this on today, Alexander's only a little fella, he's only uh, nine. So I'm gonna be paddling this big kayak mostly by myself. So this is gonna help me. I'm only gonna run it at half speed, because uh, I'll only get about an hour out of this if I run it at full speed. So we'll run it at half speed, which means it's more of a paddle assist for me. So it won't be so hard for me to paddle uh, Alexander into these long tails. Once we find them, I can keep the motor running, moving us both towards the schools. There's a little breeze blowing now. Clip. Motor's on, ready to go. No paddling. <laughs> so here's my remote. What I can do is back it down two speeds. That'll be enough. And I can just paddle as well. So we've just spotted some birds. I'm going to switch Alexander over. He can stop paddling. So working over here. They're moving. Working over here. They're moving really fast. So we're going to turn the motor up a little faster. While he's getting ready. How good is this? We can go at full speed ahead. That's good. <laughs> Quite a good size workup. Just here, you can't see it. You're not far away. Okay, so what we've got, this wind was getting really hard to stay with these fish. And then they've just popped up right in front of us. Both Alexander and I cast at the same time. My one managed to stick. So I'm going to hand it over to Alexander now so he can fight his first long tail.
So this one is on. Once again, I've thrown a few different lures out, but I threw the little uh, three-inch Z-Man Strix and Pearl. And whack, they love that. They really love it. Okay, he's up the surface now, this fish. This is where we want him, so we can get the gaff into him. That's a good fish. <laughs> Our goal was to get out of here and get a long tail tuna for Alexander and sure enough we got one. The weather's not the best, the wind was getting up so we got one fish that's all we needed and we're heading home. We've got two really nice fillets here off this long tail. We're going to prepare it Japanese cuisine style as per usual. This is a catch and cook from Alexander's little long tail tuna mission this morning. So here's what I like to do. Just a quick process of some of the meat we're not going to eat straight away or we're going to give away to friends. So I'll just take the moisture out of it and then vac bag it. There's something quietly satisfying about watching the vac bag do its thing. Look at that, who doesn't just love that? You hold that and dip it in there and cook it. Turn it a drop. Now the fish is ready, you can take it. Yeah. 